My name is Alfred Richardson. I'm a professor emeritus here at the university. My specialty is botany, specifically plant systematics or plant taxonomy, which works with naming and uh, identifying plants. As I grew up, my, my mother planted garden flowers all the time, and I was interested in there. And after I grew up, I started growing plants. Well, I graduated from Brownsville High School. I was doing sheet metal work at the time, and uh, I really didn't like that. And I, I just decided there was a time for change, and I wasn't, I was still young enough to, to do it. And when I was 35 years old, I started associate arts degree at Texas Southmost College. I got my bachelor's, master's, and doctorate at the University of Texas at Austin. The latest book, it's a book on the naturally growing plants of Cameron, Hidalgo, Willacy, and Star Counties. This book contains a little over 850 species. We have a, a tremendous variety of plants. In fact, we have around one-fifth of the plants in all of Texas that occur in all of Texas. We're in a, a southern position, but not far enough south to be tropical. We get a lot of things from Mexico that come up into our area, and then they're not found any farther north. So we get that combination of Mexican flora and Texas flora in that sense. Also, we've got the coast, which is another complete set of plants. And then, of course, along the river, just even in the valley, we have uh, differences in temperature and rainfall as we go westward. That causes another difference in the, in the, in the kinds of plants that we've got. A couple of classes have used it as, a, as a, either a lab manual or textbook. It's also being used at, at uh, UT Pan Am as a lab manual. In the public schools in, in Donna, they're using it as a textbook. In our partnership with uh, the co-author, we make a great team because I can deal with that tedium. He complements, we complement each other. His name is Ken King. He has a master's degree in uh, biology with an emphasis on herpetology. And he sees a particular plant, he can tell you what butterfly goes to that plant and where the larva go. If you see this butterfly, you follow it, and you'll find the plant that it likes. Find that plant, it has to be preserved. We uh, pre put it in a plant press where it's pressed flat and dried, and then uh, it's stored in a herbarium, which is like a library of, of uh, plant specimens and then, of course, have to work identifying it or confirming the identification. Those specimens will last for hundreds of years if they're kept dry and free of insects. And so other pr people can come and study the plants and maybe see what was growing here at this time and is not growing sometime in the future. It's like going on an Easter egg hunt every, every time I go out. We always look around in, in, uh, in the grass, sometimes a little small thing in the grass will catch our attention, and so it's, there's always something of interest. That's when we get the flow of endorphins. You know, they talk about the runner's high, but when we start on a field trip, boy, the endorphins really flow, just really feel good.